3.6. 3.6 is out. There's a new amp. I thought I would play with it. I thought I would make a video about this preset I've just thrown together around the Grammatico GSG. This is a model of a clone of a Dumble. So it's like Dumbleception or something. Um, and by Dumble, I mean Overdrive Special. And you can, you can kind of, I mean, I'm just guessing that based on the switch layout here and my previous knowledge. I could be totally wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you kind of what I came up with here and I'm curious um, what you guys come up with. But what I've got here is three, three sort of uh, snapshots here. Uh, I've gone for the mid switch on, the rock, um, on the jazz rock switch was kind of sort of like the tone stack configuration. Um, and then, yeah, I've gone, I've gone for rock and I've gone for mid switch on and the bright in the first position. So for me on like a middle position, um, on, on this, uh, exotic sort of like Strat clone, uh, right now I've got, I've got something pretty clean. <laughs> pickup here it's like kind of where I like to aim for on pretty much any amp is if I can get it is like edge of breakup so uh, on this bridge humbucker when I dig in I want it to be a little bit dirty <laughs> So like right now, I'm probably a little bit under where I would normally be, but I'm doing that to balance out the other two snapshots here. I wanted to make this first scene kind of like just a little more straight ahead clean. Um, so if I wanted to do like funkier stuff, you know. And then I added, one of the goodies I added on this preset was this little bubble vibrato, which is probably my favorite modulation in the Helix. clean stuff. Uh, snapshot two really just turns on the overdrive switch. Uh, so this is an extra gain stage after sort of the main gain in the main uh, EQ. And you got another overdrive channel that you can hit. Um, so here I've turned it on and I've got the level pretty high and the drive pretty far back. Um, just to kind of get a first stage of like yeah, everything's a little bit dirty now. And so that kind of sounds like this. Chewy on that neck pickup, kind of nice. I like it. And then the in between sounds. They're just definitely crunchy uh, on this one. And then the, for the third one, just wanted a second stage of overdrive. And all I really did, did a couple of things, turned on that FET boost. So this is kind of just pushing the whole thing. We want the same sound, but just pushing it harder. Um, the in input into into all of this. So we're gonna overdrive a little bit more. It's gonna be the same sort of EQ, same sort of clipping characteristics, but same sort of tone shaping, excuse me, but we're just gonna get more clipping because we're pushing it harder. Um, and then as a result, the overall volume was a little bit louder. So I just brought back the channel volume as well. And that sounds something like this. <laughs>
jamming on some chords there. I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, the only thing that really sort of like flipped a switch for me with this model, uh, and actually a lot of the models in the Helix, I don't know, maybe I just want this frequency more in my ears, is I just bumped a little bit of 3K post amp, post cabinet. And actually, I should have said this before, I just went with the amp and cab block. I wanted to see what I could get out of just stock cabs. And I really didn't change anything at all. The only thing I changed was I brought the high cut way down to about 4.5. Um, but I didn't change the mic, didn't change anything else on the cab. Uh, and that's what it sounds like. The rest of this preset got a little bit of compressor. You know, see it's mostly, mostly dry. Um, dry signal. And then we've got that fun bubble vibrato. Got a little bit of a, a tape delay. <laughs> tweak that obviously and then this is I believe the dynamic plate yeah so pretty cool sounding amp and the fact that I've got three levels of of overdrive uh, and distortion from just the one amp is really cool that's something I always look for is like is this amp versatile flexible can I do many different things with it and this amp for sure is uh, I think it took me a little bit of time to kind of dial it in the way I really liked it but um, and again this EQ uh, this 3K EQ bump post amp really helped me in my ears at least uh, start to really dig this. But anyways, that's it. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, and I'd love to do a video also on the, what is it, the Elmsley? That's the other new amp in this Helix update. But uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see anything else about the latest Helix update. If you want me to take a look at it, do a video on it, I would love to do that. If you have been, thank you for watching. And remember, if it sounds good, it is good.